Welcome to American Broadcasting Station. With just one simple click, kindly subscribe to our channel for more latest news updates. Vladimir Putin was very glad to announce Russia's successful launch of a warship carrying nuclear-capable hypersonic missiles towards Ukraine. The 70-year-old Russian president's harrowing announcement came on as he met with Russia's Minister of Defense, Sergei Shoigu, to discuss the launch of the Admiral Gorshkov-class warship. According to a test launch of the nuclear-capable weapons on board the warship currently in the White Sea, showed the Zirkin missiles traveling at speeds up to 7,000 mph and successfully hitting targets as far as 620 miles away. I am sure that such powerful weapons will make it possible to reliably protect Russia from potential external threats and will help ensure the national interests of our country," Putin said during his meeting, calling the launch an important, if not momentous, event. I am very glad. My congratulations," the Russian leader continued. This is a very big, collective piece of work which ended up with a good result as expected. Begin your task. Although Russia has not released an exact routing of the newly deployed Admiral Gorshkov-class vessel, the mission is expected to take the warship through the Atlantic and Indian Oceans before traveling through the Mediterranean Sea to the Black Sea to the south of Ukraine. Countering threats to Russia and supporting regional peace and stability together with friendly countries, Defense Minister Shoigu said. He added, in exercises, there will be training for the crew on deploying hypersonic weapons and long-range cruise missiles. Shoigu also indicated the Zirkin missiles on board the warship will be able to overcome any modern or future air defense and are capable of delivering pinpoint and powerful strikes against the enemy at sea and on land. Russia's recent launch of the warship carrying nuclear-capable hypersonic missiles comes as Russia already lost 3,000 troops in Ukraine since the new year started on Sunday. While Putin was delivering his annual New Year's address in Moscow over the weekend, Ukrainian intelligence sources revealed they successfully targeted a Russian military barracks building with 700 Russian troops inside. Ukraine also reportedly destroyed tons of Russia's much-needed ammunition, weaponry, and missiles in the attack, marking one of the deadliest and most successful offensives since the war started in February 2022. Kindly subscribe for more updates.